Hello everyone and um, welcome to the first video of the eight part series of Microsoft Sentinel Hands-On Lab. So uh, in this whole series we will be talking about just Microsoft Sentinel and we'll be going through different labs, different parts in it like each lab will consist of uh, around three to five exercises that we will go through and we will start all the way from deploying uh, the Sentinel workspace and going all the way to the Microsoft Content Lab or the Content Hub uh, as it's known for. And you will see different uh, things that you can do in this, in this whole Microsoft uh, Sentinel workspace. And it's mainly to get uh, in-depth information and in-depth knowledge about what in general is uh, Sentinel and also like how it works and going more in deep. So in this first part of the video or the first in general, the first part of this whole Microsoft Sentinel, before we dive into the labs, I just want to quickly talk about like what is Microsoft Sentinel. So like it's also known as Azure uh, Sentinel. It's basically a cloud native security information and event management um, and security orchestration automation and response solution. So basically it's a cloud part of your SIEM. Um, uh, if you have some idea about what a SIEM is or if you've worked with uh, logs or if you've worked with uh, Splunk, which is basically uh, the most commonly known seam tool uh, you might have an idea of basically how a seam works and this is just um, the cloud version of it provided by microsoft um, and this you do on azure so on the azure portal and so mainly what what when we talk about azure sentinel or when we talk about microsoft uh, sentinel um, it's we when we talk about the key features like as I already talked about uh, the main topic about uh, logs so it's usually or like the main uh, it's it's basic need of why it is used is log collection so like the sentinel collects and aggregates the security data so from like various sources so this is just to to keep in mind it's usually not just on-premise or not just cloud but you can also do it for on-premises depending on how your uh, azure is connected or how your and the, the complete um yeah complete third-party security solutions that exist in your um industry in your whole uh, company or just for your personal use and like it it takes or like it ingests the data from different sources like it can be firewalls it can be antivirus solutions cloud services like a lot of things um, then when we talk about more key features like it's also used for threat detection which is like also a very important part of seam tools so as it also says event management that's what it does it's like the detection and it has like some inbuilt custom detection rules you can also uh, modify it for your own use depending as it has machine learning like there are many many ways in which you can collect the data and identify the threats it's also used for analysis like it's something similar when you detect and then you analyze and many or like most of the security analysts uh, analysts who work uh, in such departments or just like just the analyzing part of it that's their main goal to just keep a watch on security incidents and also like segregating them um, and there's like yeah there it has a lot of data exploration tools which helps the analysts or the ones working in this to like basically drill down um, yet to understand what the impact is of one specific security event it's also used as an automated response and alerting system so um, something similar to like ids so that is like the intrusion detection system um, and like yeah giving feedbacks on like your 
indicators of compromises and so like it's like threat intelligence as well and also has a lot of workbooks uh, dashboards which is like also used for again uh, analysis and like detection investigations alerts many things so and like when you go more into it there's also integration there's also reporting compliance like there are many features but the ones which i listed or like explain a bit more they, these are like key features or the features which are like more highlighted towards this so uh, yeah enough talking uh, let's get to the first lab or like the first part of this whole series which is uh, what we will do in this first part as you can see like that's our first lab which will have three exercises and in this which the first thing that we will do is like we will do the Microsoft Sentinel workspace. So it's like just deploying the workspace. The next is like then deploying a specific lab solution uh, and then like configuring this uh, playbook in the lab solution that we will uh, deploy. So the first thing that you have to do is like make sure like if you're following along in this, um, like if you're following along the whole lab, uh, from series one to completely till eight, make sure that you have a Azure account uh, with a subscription. Um, you can also have like j just a free version of it, like a trial period, which is for 30 days. And I think it's way more than enough uh, for you to practice and also like get to know uh, what has to be done in this and all the resources that we will use, like they are completely like included into the free version of it or like the trial version of it. So the first thing that you do is like uh, go into the search and just just type Microsoft Sentinel. And after going, so like this is the first part or the first exercise that we do is like creating or like deploying the uh, workspace. So normally if you are already using Azure, if you already had something with Sentinel, you will see that there there will be some existing um, workspaces here but like if it's not like it will be like a clear uh, dashboard here and just go on create so here and after clicking on create like once it's loaded up here it will say oh you do not have a workspace what you'll do is like create a new workspace and in this make sure that you select the right subscription and then if you already have a resource group, you can just link it to this. Uh, for this or for our lab, I will be creating a new one and just will name it Sentinel Resource Group. You can name it anything that you wish to. And like make sure that you also like naming the workspace. So for this, we will just name it Sentinel Workspace. And after naming, like make sure that you're using the right region. So the region where you are to make it like work more smoother. And like you can see there are a lot of options that you can use. And like once you select your region, uh, we will not be like worrying about anything in tags on it, anything like this. We'll just go on review and create and like after a few seconds up to a minute like once the validation is completed like once you will see that there the validation is passed after this is done you can just click on create so as you can see here like when it says validation pass just click on create and what you will see is like uh, here there will be the deployment and it can take up to two to three minutes uh, usually like depends on uh, yeah, it can be sometimes seconds, sometimes minute, sometimes up to three minutes. And once you see that here, like the deploy, uh, when it says deployment in progress, and once this is complete, or once it says deployment complete, you will see that it's operational. So here, all we can see is that, okay, it's uh, deployed. And So once you will refresh and here what you will see is there's the there's your workspace just in case like 
the reason why I re refreshed it or like I can go it, go back there um, here uh, until and unless you do not add your workspace your sentinel won't be created so when you go on like create workspace here you will see select or like highlight your workspace that you created just in case if you have many uh, workspaces make sure that you select the right one which you created and click on add once you click on add also this takes a few sec seconds and then what you'll see is like uh, it will be added to your sentinel once this is complete we can what we can do is like we can move to the second part or like the second exercise of this lab so once this is added uh, once the microsoft sentinel is added or the workspace is added the first exercise of this lab is completed so now once this is complete you can move towards the second part which is the deploying of the microsoft sentinel training lab solution so for this what you have to do is again we will move back to our Azure <clears throat> and you can let this also run in the background. This yeah takes two to three minutes or so you can either let it run in the background or you can wait. Once it's done, you can move to the next point. So like for this, like the Microsoft Sentinel training lab solution, uh, you don't have, you don't search it in services, but in marketplace marketplace. So like here you will see and you click on it and you'll see this page uh, you can also read the whole overview uh, to get an idea of what uh, this what the training guide has and all the information if you want to get more in-depth information about what exactly this consists of and once you've read it or if you do not want to also wish to read it that's also fine just click on create and here like make sure that you uh, select the right resource group uh, the resource group that you created for this uh, workspace and then select the workspace that you uh, just created as well to link it again we will not be uh, changing anything in workbooks analytics playbooks anything else but yeah just feel free to just look at it uh, get more information about it uh, if you wish to after like uh, you've just selected the right uh, resources uh, resource group and the workspace all you have to do is like click on create and once you click on create like also make sure that you select the right uh, subscription uh, select the right format where you are like linking and this uh, what this exactly it is the the lab solution it's like a i guess around 20 mb of uh, like basically a few information few logs which already exist <clears throat> like there are many events um, the the in ingest in events that it exists so this is basically to have a prerequisite information of events or like logs that exist so that we can check or we can like go through these things like we don't have to create on our own some events but these are like sample events you can call it sample events that which already exist and this is what we deploy into our workspace to get like to see different things which we will do it in further labs as well uh, what usually like this whole deployment takes up to 15 minutes uh usually uh, so like just take your time uh, you can do something else at this point just wait for this deployment to complete um, usually is sometimes it also just takes two to three minutes sometimes 15 minutes so like it just depends so uh, don't be surprised if it takes up to 15 minutes and also like uh, even if it's deployed in two or three minutes uh, to see the whole solution to see the whole uh, ingested logs and events it also takes till at least up to 15 minutes to like compile everything and show it on the overview page so which we will see once the deployment is completed so yeah just just take your time um, do something else at this point 
do some research about this whole um, training lab solution like you can just go back uh, read the workbooks and playbooks about this whole lab solution you can also like read through the training guide to get just in general more information or in-depth information of this whole training lab solution um, and like once this is completed we will come back uh, again to this portion and then continue towards our uh, third exercise for this first lab so once you see the deployment completed message which is like your deployment is completed this message uh, make sure that you also go back to your sentinel and in your workspace and see that all the data is available there so like once you see the deployment completed message go to your sentinel go to your workspace and make sure that you see all the data and all the ingested data the incidents the alerts everything and the events that exist in this whole training lab and that you can see it that it exists so usually like um, even if your deployment is completed let's say like in five or six minutes just make sure that you still give some time like at least 10 to 15 minutes in total from the time you deploy it till you see all the events to make sure all the data is like available in the dashboard for you to view so like yeah if it can be an exact replica of what you see here like also like it can be something different but make sure that you see some uh, data which is available so once you see this once you see the dashboard with uh, different events uh, then the the second part or like the second exercise of this first lab uh, you can say that it's completed then we move on to the third exercise like the last part of this first lab is here we will like configure the uh, playbook the sentinel playbook and for this uh, what you'll do is like we will go back to our resource group and do configuration just basically into the api connection so all you have to do is like you have to go back to your resource group select the resource group uh, that you created and in this what you have to look for is the api connection like the azure sentinel get geo from ip and tag incident so like this api connection make sure you select it and in this uh, what we'll do is in the general part like we will go to the edit api connection and after selecting it all we have to do is like we have to authorize this api connection so this is what we do in the configuration so once you click on authorize what it will do is like it will um, ask you to sign in to your account like the account that you will be using and yeah once you see that the, the authorization was successful uh, all you have to do is click on save and once you see that there's a that it's successfully edited your api connection then this third part or like the final exercise of this first lab is completed and then we can move forward to the new the next lab so stay tuned for the uh, further labs and further exercises for this whole uh, bootcamp or like this whole uh, hands-on lab series of the microsoft sentinel and i will see you in the next video